Hey everyone, Derek here from Wayscript. In this one, let's see how we can create a Discord or Slack bot that automatically queries our JIRA issues. Once we query this issue, let's return the information back to that channel. Let's get started. Starting off, let's see what we're going to build in this tutorial. The idea is we can pass in an ID of a JIRA issue into a Discord channel that we've specified, so Wayscript will find this command in our Discord channel, do a query on our JIRA issues, and return back information that we want. We can specify this information within the Wayscript program. Once this action happens, we see we get back that information. Switching tabs and going to wayscript.com, we'll start with a brand new script. In this one, we want our trigger to be a Discord trigger. This is because we want our script to activate whenever a Discord message is posted in a channel that we specify. So we can do this using the Discord trigger. We'll click Add Trigger and type in Discord. Once we have this, we can specify the server and also the channel that we wanted to read. In this example, I'm using a bots channel. Now we need to make sure that we click Output of Discord message. This will give us a variable down here in the bottom left that we can use throughout our script and we can search it for specific keywords. Finally, we need to make sure that we turn this trigger on if we want it to work. Next, let's create an if statement. We'll click on add step and choose if. In this example, let's say if our variable of discord message dot message, so what the user types into the channel, contains whatever character that we want to specify as a bot command. In the previous example, we used a question mark. So anytime a discord message contains a question mark, we'll trigger the true side of this if true. If there isn't a question mark, we'll just leave the else side empty so no action happens. Now that we have this, we need to search for that string. So let's type in and search for regex. We'll import this and we'll drag that regular expression module into the true side of this if tree. In my example, we want to match the group that follows the question mark. However, you can create your own regular expression if you want to here. The string that we want to match will be that discord message. And since we want to match anything that follows the question mark, we can do that with something like this. The output that we want for this module are the captured groups. Once we click on that, we see that variable is created here. So if we were to jump back to Discord and type in a new message, so let's say example five and run this, we see that our script ran and that captured group is now here. Now that we have the connection between our Discord channel and WayScript, Let's go ahead and query the JIRA issues using this string. To do this, we'll click off and add a new step below our regular expressions. We'll type in JIRA and import it. The mode that we want to use in JIRA is to return information about an issue. So we can select that from the mode selection. We'll choose get an issue and the issue ID or key will be that captured group. Now we can specify the information that we want about this issue. In the previous example, we had the description and those who are watching. This is all we need to connect JIRA into our Discord channel. Now we just need to write this message back to Discord. We'll click on the step below it and type in Discord. From here, we can write back any information from our variables panel back to Discord by putting it into this message body. So let's open up our watching struct. We'll go down and just pull in display name. So we'll open this struct up and pull in this text. Now that we have this, we should be able to search for JIRA issue information all through that Discord channel. If you have any questions or comments, as always, please let us know and we'll get back to you. Until next time.